Hi guys, it's Jean here and welcome back to my channel. Today, I will be sharing with you all the complete process of how I draw a chibi character from start to finish. Now let's set up our canvas. I'm just gonna use the 4500 by 4500 pixels here. And today, we'll be drawing Erwin Smith from Attack on Titan. First, under canvas, let's turn on the reference option and import the image that we want to use. Okay, for some reason, it's just easier for me to drag the reference photo with my finger. I also liked to turn on my grid while drawing the chibi characters. This serves as a guide in determining the body proportions for your character. And I like to use a bright color for sketching. It just helps me differentiate the layers better when it comes to inking later on. Here I am using the oval sketch brush that I purchased from DZ Terra a long time ago and I use it to sketch most of my drawings. But you are welcome to use any brush that you like. Okay, I'm establishing the frame for my GB character. These two guidelines to show the center of the body and then this one to split the torso and the legs. The main thing to remember when creating a GB character is you want to exaggerate the key features. So usually, we want to make the eyes larger than they appear. Here I'm also enlarging the hair. And let's keep the lower half of the body relatively smaller. Actually, I think I made the head a little bit small, so I'm gonna have to fix that later. As for the outfit, the amount of details that you want to show is up to you, really. Personally, I just like to add as many details as possible. So I'm pretty much redrawing the outfit at the smaller scale here. Just spending a little more time cleaning up my sketch. The cleaner your sketch version is, the less work you're gonna have to do when it comes to inking. And as I mentioned earlier, I'm gonna make the head a little bigger. Alright, before we start inking, let's first turn down the opacity of the sketch layer. Make sure to add a different layer for inking or line art. And here I'm using the technical pen with the black color. And also turn off the grid. I forgot to show in my video, but I usually set the streamline for my brush settings at 80%. It helps stabilize your brush strokes and create smoother lines. A good way to add depth to your character is to vary the thickness of the lines when inking. You can achieve this by adjusting the pressure of the brush strokes. Pressing down on the screen to create a thicker line and lifting up at the end to taper it off. If the lines get too thick, we can always thin them out with the eraser tool. I personally like to finish the line art first and save the cleanup process for the end. Alright, just going through and ink the rest of the sketch. I'm also filling in the folds on his clothes with black ink.
For the hair, I'm using a light brown color for inking. Okay, now we can turn off the sketch layer. Now that we're done with the line art, let's go back and clean it up. Moving on to coloring, let's first create a new layer and put it under the line art layer. I tend to have several layers of shading on top of the flat or the base colors. Therefore, I have a habit of creating selections and saving these for the areas that I want to color. That way I can go back and add more shades later on if I wanted to. You can save and load your selections here, or delete ones you don't need anymore. I want to select a light color for the skin. And I'm gonna use the hard air brush to color it in. And the nice thing about coloring in your selection is that your brush stroke does not go outside of the boundaries. For shading, I'm going back with a darker shade using the soft brush. It's easier to do the coloring and shading when you have a reference photo. Just have to kind of follow all the shadings shown in the image. Using the eraser tool to create that white area for the eyes. Okay, I want to color in the cheeks just a little bit, not to overdo it. Erwin's character is very serious, so I don't want to make him look too cute. Next, let's color in the eyes. Just like before, create a selection, then Use the hard airbrush for the base color and add the shadings with the soft brush. That blue color is too bright here for the base, so I'm gonna change it to a darker shade. Adding some depth here for the eyes with the soft brush. Alright, same process as before, create your selection first and then go in with the base color and add the shadings on top. You can also choose to fill in all the flat colors first and then do the shadings like what I'm doing here. Parts of the eyebrows look too thick here so I wanted to clean this up a little bit. I think I also want to change the inside of the brows to brown color, so let's select the line art color and turn on alpha lock. We can now paint over the layer with a new color. Let's draw in some shadow for his lips and erasing the unwanted portion. Again, same as before, I'm gonna finish laying all the flat colors for the character using the selection tool and then going in with the hard airbrush. I want my GB character to have 
brighter colors so I'm manually choosing the colors here but if you want to match the exact color on your reference image just press your finger on that spot on the image for some reason the color pick tool doesn't work on the reference photo so you just have to use your finger coloring is still my favorite part when drawing a chibi it's just so therapeutic To make it easier when adding the shades, use the color pick tool to make your base color active. Then select a darker shade. Add some shadings here. Just kind of mimic what's shown in the reference image. Alright, so the basic shade is done. I usually have two layers of shading. The first one using the soft brush is to give it a more 3D effect. Then for the second layer of shades, I'm gonna go in and add the hard edge shadows like what's shown in the reference image. And for this step, I either use the hard airbrush or the studio pen, whichever you prefer. Let's do this for the rest of his outfit. Okay, I usually don't get too crazy with the hair, so I'm just gonna go in and add the two layers of shadings on top of the base color. Again, using the soft brush for base layer, and then this time the studio pen for the top layer. I thought the outline of the hair is still a little bit dark, so I'm gonna change the color to match the shadow here. Using alpha lock and going over the original color. Okay, adding some black underneath of the hair to make it pop out more. And we're gonna have the shadows for the eyebrows too. Alright guys, we are reaching the end. The last part is to add the highlights to your GB character. I'm going in with the studio pen and the white color to add these extra details. This helps enhance the look of your chibi and also add more depth to the character. And cleaning it up with the eraser tool.
because the chibi character is already a lot more simplified than the original, I like to add extra details to the eyes to give more dimension to my drawing. I'm also gonna draw in the shadows for the hair here. Okay, we can just use the reference image as a guide and add highlights to the rest of the outfit. Almost done. I also wanted to add some extra shadows on the skin areas. Alright, last but not least, I'm gonna add these highlights on the cheeks. And we are done! Thanks for sticking around with me until the end. This is the routine I go through when drawing a GB character. Also remember, this video is just a guide to help you create your own drawing. You don't have to follow everything I do here. Just be creative and have fun with it. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to stay up to date with my contents. Thank you so much for stopping by. Take care guys.